Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video we're going to talk about the Panasonic G9 Mark II. If there ever was that possibility of that camera being created by our good friends at Panasonic, wow, what would you like to see in the Panasonic G9 Mark II? I've got 10 things here that I'd like to see. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and let's roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, um, you know, I made a video yesterday about, you know, why, you know, the Panasonic G9 is still such a great camera and the feedback I got on that video has been incredible. Um, people really, really love the Panasonic G9 still to this very day. And the, I must say the G9 videos are all, always the most popular videos I make. Um, it's still such a great camera, but a lot of the comments have been talking about the potential of a Panasonic G9 Mark II camera and that got me thinking you know if that was a possibility you know what I would like to see in the Mark II version of the G9. I absolutely love my GH5 Mark II that camera is fantastic um, I love that camera it's filming on me right now as much as I like the Panasonic G9 too right love the G9 but you know I've got 10 things here you know what I would like to see and I'm thinking you know most of you all would like to see these 10 things here too maybe you've got some other feedback about what you'd like to see in a Panasonic G9 Mark II but um, I've got 10 so let's get right into it. Okay so the first thing I would like to see and I guess you could all guess it would be the autofocus getting that new autofocus into the Panasonic G9 Mark II would be fantastic uh, you know I am mainly a stills you know, photographer, uh, but I do do a lot of video as well. I'm always uh, manually focusing on the G9 and the GH5 Mark II. Getting the new autofocus in this camera would be fantastic for video, especially for YouTube, client work, you name it. It's gonna be handy anyway, even for stills, it's gonna be great having that updated new autofocus built into the Panasonic G9 Mark II. Let's hope anyway. That was number one, let's get into number two. Okay, number two is getting that bigger 25 uh, megapixel sensor into the GH5, uh, sorry, GH5, uh, G9 Mark II, okay? Wouldn't that be great? Uh, you know, more room for editing, more range in the files. It would be absolutely fantastic. But you know, it's not too much. You know, we're not hitting the 40 megapixels, megapixel, megapixels, megapixel mark. If I could talk properly, that would be good. Uh, getting to that 40 uh, megapixel mark, you know, it's still very, very usable file size at 25 mil. I think that would be great too. And you know, I think it's a given, you know, if they do release a Panasonic G9 Mark II, they're gonna put that uh, 25 megapixel sensor megapixels, megapixel in this camera. Well, let's hope anyway, right? So um, yeah, that's number two. Let's quickly get into number three. Okay, number three is, is really, Panasonic focus in on making you know if there is the luxury and the possibility of getting a G9 Mark II make it real photo centric for photographers Lumix and Panasonic is known for its video capabilities and stuff like that but I know for a fact by you know having this channel for one that you know there is a ton of of uh, Panasonic Lumix users out there that just do stills. And that's what the G9 was always about, the, uh, the original G9, the G9 Mark II. Make it stills orientated, features that all of us still photographers really, really love. And does that mean keeping the LCD screen at the top, that sort of thing, really separate it from like the GH5 Mark II and the GH6, making it really, you know, a stills photographers, you know, I know a lot of landscape photographers use the G9, but really hone in on, you know, all genres of photography and the G9 Mark II, okay? I think that would be fantastic if Panasonic put a lot of features in, you know, that are all sort of photo-centric, right? Okay, so that's number three. What about number four? Okay, number four is a real quick one. Completely weather sealed, okay? Completely weather sealed, get out there in the rain, in the snow. There's no snow here in Australia, I can tell you that right now. But however, uh, in the heat, in the humidity, I live in a very humid part of uh, Australia, you know, battle, battle it up for hot, humid conditions, cold conditions, freezing conditions, weather sealed, that's number four. Let's get into number five. Okay, for all the JPEG shooters out there, 
photography centric camera g9 mark ii that's what we're hoping for right for all the jpeg shooters out there myself included wouldn't it be great to have more picture profile options on the g9 mark ii that would be fantastic the gh5 mark ii has got some great picture profiles the gh6 has but photo centric even maybe some film simulations for us jpeg shooters on the new g9 mark uh, mark ii wouldn't that be great so you know more option for jpeg shooters cool black and whites film simulations oh i think that would be a really really good feature to come in on the g9 mark ii as well right so that was number five let's get into number six okay number six image stabilization the image stabilization that's in the new uh, gh6 cram it into the g9 mark ii for all of you know slower shutter speeds low light shooting conditions let's compete with the full frames out there and get that image stabilization absolutely slamming in the new g9 mark ii if <laughs> okay so that was uh, number six let's get into number seven okay number seven should we potentially get rid of the um, side flippy screen right completely and make it a flip up screen the gh six has both options but it's added a lot of bulk to the camera how about if we just get a flip up screen because that's better for photography and if you want to see yourself to film and everything like that flip it all the way up so it articulates all the way up potentially over the top of the camera like that i don't know that could be a bit of a you know iffy one you know maybe people don't like that but because the flip out screen is very handy for filming and video work but photography photography centered camera Maybe just a flip up screen that goes all the way up for any video work that you might have to do. Hmm, what do you think about that? I think I'm, I think that would be, uh, you know, a non deal breaker for me. I think I would actually use that more. I know on my GX9, I really love the flip up screen. I do sometimes film with that camera as well and have to do like, you know, selfies and stuff like that. So I would like it to go all the way up. However, how about flip, flip all the way up? What do you think? Okay, so that's number um, seven. Let's get into number eight. Okay, number eight, C uh, customization. Keep all the custom buttons here and locked in place, maybe even more, you know what I mean? I don't know how many more you can cram into it, but the ability to customize the new G9 Mark II woo, uh, would be fantastic. Much the same as the original G9. As I said in my last video yesterday, you know, uh, it is, you know, such a customizable camera. You can, you know, really make it your own camera for the style of photography and video you do, right? So that's number eight. Keep it customizable. Ke uh, heaps of FN custom buttons. Keep that into the camera. Um, let's. That was number eight. Let's get into what are we up to? Number nine. I got number nine. This is a no-brainer. But you want the new battery in it. The battery that comes in the GH5 Mark II, the GH6, more power you know, the one that's in the S5, the S5 Mark II, get that in the new G9 Mark II. That's a no brainer. Let's quickly now get into number 10. Okay, number 10, and this is my final point. Keep it rock solid, okay? There, when you pick up the G9 compared to the GH5 or the GH5 Mark II, this one feels uh, more balanced and better constructed than the other cameras. That's not taking away anything from the GH5 and the GH5 Mark II and the GH6. I've picked that camera up a few times and that's well built as well. But something about the way this camera feels under the, under the hands, in the hands, is absolutely fantastic. Keep it rock solid and built super strong. That's what we like to see. Um, and that's what I love. I mentioned that yesterday about the Panasonic cameras is they're built so well. So in the new G9 Mark II, keep the build quality much the same as the G9. The look, the feel, the texture, you know, just the overall quality of it, the dial layout, that build quality is absolutely everything. And we wanna see that in the new, uh, G9 Mark II, right? So that's my 10 points. Let's wrap this thing up. Okay, so please, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, what would you like to see in the new G9 Mark II if that does happen? <sighs> Who knows? Who knows if it's going to happen? I've got no, I've no idea. I only hear rumors and from what you've been saying down in the comments below, but you know, I thought this would be a really good video to get out there sort of now because you know, there's a lot of talk about a new Micro Four Thirds camera from Panasonic coming out you know, to complement, you know, the GH6, maybe a G9 Mark II, wouldn't that be great? Or G10, whatever you want to call it. 
who cares? Let me know what you think. I'd really be interested to see your feedback. And uh, yeah, if you like this sort of thing, please um, consider subscribing to the channel. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Megapixel, megapixel. Mark, if I could talk properly, that would be good.